In this video, I'm going to show you how to go about modeling with your stylus. Now, your stylus doesn't come with a scroll wheel, obviously. And the scroll wheel, as you know, is quite essential to 3D modeling because it enables us to perform certain basic functions like zooming in and out, adding segments to your bevels, and increasing or decreasing the sphere of influence when using the proportional editing tool. So I'm going to modify this cube that we have right here, and I'm going to show you how to work around some of these problems. So let's go ahead and jump into edit mode. And let's select one of these edges. And I'm going to hit Control B on the keyboard in order to perform a bevel. Now, normally you would use the scroll wheel to add or remove segments to this edge. But today we don't have a mouse, we don't have a scroll wheel. And what we're going to do is hit S on the keyboard and that's going to enable me to add segments to this bevel. Now, moving towards the right hand side is going to increase the number of segments and moving towards the left hand side is going to decrease it. Now, that's not all you can do. You can actually modify the profile as well by hitting P on the keyboard. And just like that, on the fly, you can change the profile. And that's not all. You can also hit Z on the keyboard. And what that's going to do is basically create a chamfered edge. You can now add or remove edges to that chamfered edge. And you can also do other things like harden or soften edges. And you can also control the clamp override. So let's go ahead and select this other edge on the side here. And we're going to perform that bevel again. And we are going to hit S on the keyboard in order to increase the number of segments. And then I'm going to hit C on the keyboard in order to activate clamp override. And I'm going to then accept this. So that's how you go about dynamically adding segments to your bevels and also controlling the hardness. The inner and outer miter can also be controlled by just hitting I on the keyboard, for instance. And so that's basically how we perform all those functions. Now let's move on to proportional editing. So I'm going to hit O on the keyboard and I'm going to switch to vertex mode and select a couple of verts right here. And I'm going to hit S in order to scale them. So this right here is our sphere of influence. So normally we would use the scroll wheel in order to increase or decrease the sphere of influence. But with a stylus, the answer lies on your tablet basically. So you need to have express keys and a touch ring on your tablet in order to be able to perform this. So I'm going to be using the touch ring right here to increase my sphere of influence like so or decrease my influence just like this. Now I've got a pretty old tablet and my touch ring is not as sensitive as it used to be. So it actually is quite a bit of a hassle to perform this operation. So normally what I would do is basically scale things out, come here, resize my proportional size after the fact. So that's how I go about doing it. But if you have a newer tablet with a more sensitive touch ring, then the key to increasing and decreasing your sphere of influence is basically through the touch ring. And so that basically sums up everything I wanted to discuss in this video. Now, with respect to zooming in and out, I've already made a video talking about how to go about setting up your tablet as well as navigating with your stylus. So so if you want to watch that video, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. One small note before I conclude this video. Everything I spoke about with respect to beveling edges applies to beveling vertices as well. All the same hotkeys apply. Everything else is pretty much the same as modeling with a mouse. The only thing left is for you to get used to modeling with a tablet. Alright, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe if this helped.